Today we will talk about circuits. Wait a minute. This is Mario Kart circuit. However, we are going to talk about electrical circuits today, and not racing circuits. By the way, since we touched on this, a racing circuit is a track that cars, bicycles, carts, etc., race around. But as I said, we're not going to talk about Mario Kart today. Kinds of circuits. There are two kinds of circuits. One kind of circuit is a series circuit. Another kind of circuit is a parallel circuit. At the start of this video series, we briefly talked about series and parallel circuits. Do you remember what they are? Do you remember what is different? Well, even if you cannot remember, it's okay. We will talk about them in greater detail right now. Series circuits. In a series circuit, electric charges can flow in only one path. This path leads from the power source and returns to it. The power source causes the charged particles to flow. They flow through the wire in one direction around a single loop. A break in the circuit stops the electric current from flowing. So here we have a picture of a basic series circuit. What do you see? Well, on the left we have an energy source or a power source. This is usually something like a battery, etc. Then we have wire. We have two resistors, and we have a switch. If you follow the wire carefully, and you trace your hand along the wire, you will notice that if you start at the power source and then you leave, there is only one path through which you can return to the power source. Any circuit that only has one path. Is a series circuit. Quiz time. Here are two questions about series circuit to test your understanding. The first one is rather easy. In a series circuit, how many paths are available for electric charges to flow? Option number one, one path. Option two, two. Option three, three. Option four, four. In a series circuit, how many paths are available for electric charges to flow? Please pause the video, and then when you think you have the answer, you can continue. Okay, time's up. The answer is one. Remember, if you leave the power source or the energy source and you trace your finger along the wire, there is only. One path which will lead you back to the power source or the energy source, and this means that a series circuit only has one path available for electric charges to flow. I think you should have gotten this correct, right? Let's move on to a more challenging question. Question number two: What will happen if there are Any breaks in a series circuit? Have a look at the options and choose the one that you think is the best answer. Option number one: the charges will flow faster. Option number two: the charges will not be able to flow. Option number three: a light connected to the circuit. Will become dimmer. Option number four: a light connected to the circuit will become brighter. 
What will happen if there are any breaks in a series circuit? Please pause the video, choose your answer, and when you're ready, continue. Okay, that's it. Time's up. What will happen if there are any breaks in a series circuit? The answer is option number two. The charges will not be able to flow because they will no longer have a path through which they can leave the power or energy source and then return to the power or energy source. Therefore, they don't move. They stay home and do nothing. We said there were two kinds of circuits, series and parallel circuits. Parallel circuits. In a parallel circuit, electric charges can flow through two or more paths. Each path leads from the power source and returns to it. The charged particles that flow through one path do not have to flow through the other paths. Therefore, a break in one path does not stop the electric current from flowing through the other paths. So, look at this. Again, we have an energy source or a power source. We have wires, we have resistors, and we have a switch, right? Now, if you start at the energy source and you go down, trace your finger along the wire, and you want to trace your finger along the wires until you return to the energy source. Is there only one path that you can take, or is there more than one? Well, let's try it. If we go down, and then we go to the right across the wire, and we get to this first red point with the three black wires coming out of it. If we go up, 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 then we can go left to the switch, and then back down to the energy source. That's one path. However, there is another path that we can take. Do you see it? Starting again at the energy source, we go down, we turn right. This time, we pass through the first red block. And we go to the right, then we go up, and we go through this resistor, go up to the top, turn left, get to another red resistor, go through, get to the switch, go through, and then right back to the energy source. Therefore, because there are two different ways that we can leave the energy source and then return to the energy source, this is a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit is any circuit that has two or more paths. Do you clearly understand the difference between a series and parallel circuit now? Well, here are two questions to test your understanding. Are you ready? Question number one. In a parallel circuit, how many paths are available for electric charges to flow? Option number one, zero. Option number two, one. Option number three, two or more. And finally, option number four, none of the above. Pause the video, choose your answer, and continue when you're ready. Time's up. In a parallel circuit, how many paths are available for electric charges to flow? The answer is two or more. So as long as the circuit has at least two paths, that is a parallel circuit. However, we do not specify the number of paths. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, it could be five, it could be any number that is two or more. I think you should have gotten this question correct as well. And now for the final question. What will happen if there are any breaks in a parallel circuit? Option number one. The charges will not be able to flow. Option number two. All the lights will go out. Option number three. The charges will flow in the reverse direction. Option number four. The charges will flow through other paths. Pause the video, think about it carefully, 
Choose your answer, and when you think you're ready, please continue. Right, time's up. What will happen if there are any breaks in the parallel circuit? Well, if we examine these options carefully, option number one, the charges will not be able to flow. Not necessarily. In a parallel circuit, there is more than one path. So depending on where the break is, the electric charges might have another path that they can take. So therefore, option one is not exactly correct. Option number two, all the lights will go out. Well, actually, technically, option number one and option number two imply the same thing. Because if the charges are not able to flow, that means any lights in the circuit will go out. So, option number three, the charges will flow in the reverse direction. Hmm, well, I don't see why you would choose this one. And then finally, option number four, the charges will flow through other paths. Yes, the best choice, in my opinion, would be option number four. What will happen if there are any breaks in a parallel circuit? The charges will find another way to flow from the energy source, leave it, and then back to the energy source. Okay, well, good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to the video today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was useful. And take care. See you next time. Goodbye.